All right, you primitive screwheads. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can take an ordinary spirit chainsaw and turn it into Ash's iconic chainsaw weapon. Here's a list of parts and tools that you're going to need. I did use a 3D printer for a couple things. You may not necessarily need that. You could find some other stuff from the hardware store or you could go to Staples and have the stuff printed if you don't have access to one. So the first thing you're going to need to do is find all the screw holes and disassemble this chainsaw body. It's like a clamshell. It will split in half and that's required to get access to uh, remove the handle, remove the chainsaw blade, and remove the pull start part. You want to be careful removing these electronics. Don't tug on any wires, otherwise you're going to have to re-solder them. But um, we're going to disassemble this handle and take it away completely, along with the top handle, because we're not going to use the back handle, but we're going to reuse the top handle in a different section. Now you want to kind of put the clamshell back together and trace where you're going to have your hand inserted. You want to use a PVC pipe that's big enough to fit your hand and wrist. And next you need to go ahead and remove the blade. And again, be careful of all these wires, electronics, stuff like that. But we need to take the blade out so that it's easier to paint without getting paint on other parts. Next, you want to use a Dremel to cut your uh, PVC pipe opening so that way you can stick that through and that's where your hand's going to go. I took a little bit of time here to rough up all the surfaces with sandpaper and to clean up those cut edges so that way paint's going to stick to the parts better. Then you're going to paint the body with your red spray paint. These are all the guts from the inside. There's a thing that has the speaker. I go ahead and remove that. And um, we're gonna take out that little pull start thing there and put our own in. Um, also, you wanna remove the blade so that way you can paint that separately. Like this. So you're gonna go ahead and put a gray coat on all those parts and a red coat on that. These caps were just from coke bottles. They have red and black so it's easy to represent the oil and gas on Ash's chainsaw. Next, I had to break out the 3D printer because I'm going to print some parts that um, I thought were necessary. Like this right here, it's a mount for the trigger that was originally on the outside. It's got a little square that it will snap right into and this dowel is going to go inside the chainsaw. So when you stick your hand in, you conveniently have a trigger right there for everything. This was another part I ended up 3D printing. It's just a mount, so that way you can um, fasten the handle to the other side of the chainsaw. Because on Ash's chainsaw, it goes on the bottom left. On the original Spirit chainsaw, it was on the bottom right. And um, I think you could probably just... Uh, if you didn't have a 3D printer, just stick the PVC straight through a hole in the side and then just kind of fasten it with some glue or something. It doesn't have to be really sturdy, but this way that I did it is super sturdy. You can actually hold it as a handle. Where the original pull start was, I just took a piece of twine and stuck it through and then um, tied it to a piece of dowel. It looks more like Ash's pull start that way. So now I'm going to take the dowel that has the trigger on it and I'm just going to put a screw through the top and the bottom to fasten it right there where you're going to grab. The saw blade has a bunch of little screws that fasten it together so make sure you save all your screws in a little bowl and um, reassemble the chainsaw blade. I also ended up 3D printing some brackets for the top where the handle on the top is gonna connect. Um, you could probably just use some strap metal or something like that. And uh, I took a dowel and I cut slots in the end of it. So the dowel is going to fit into the 3D printed parts there. It's gonna look really cool. 
you can see here that there's two brackets. There's one on each side and I just put a screw through the top of the dowel to fasten the top of the brackets to the dowel. You can see here that I went ahead and painted the little PVC connector that's going to be our handle on the side and fasten it to the body there. And I'm also fitting in the PVC pipe that your hand is going to go through. Now I use little tiny L brackets that I had to bend a little bit to conform to the odd shape of the back of the chainsaw. And there, I'm just going to use some machine screws and screw into the body of the chainsaw and screw into the PVC to uh, fasten that together. And that looks a lot like the similar look that Ash's chainsaw has on the back. One drawback about using these little screws that I used is that the ends of the screws stick through the PVC where your wrist goes, so those can kind of scrape against your wrist. And it wasn't in this part of the video, but I used some um, window sealing strips. It's like a roll to go on the inside. It's like a like a foam tape and that acts as a cushion so I'm not scraping my wrist on those. Here's a good almost complete shot. Um, I put some glue in the PVC um, connector that's on the body and I also put a little short piece of PVC pipe to extend it out a little bit and then a PVC elbow and then the other part is our original handle. So that is all halt, held together by um, contact cement and the caps are contact cemented on. You can see our pull start, our hand insert, and our handle on the top. Looks like it's all coming together pretty good. Here's a good before and after of what the uh, original chainsaw looked like versus what this current chainsaw looks like, and it's pretty awesome. Now here's the chainsaw after I hand painted some blood and gore for extra special effect. It's definitely a pretty good representation of Ash's actual chainsaw. So that's pretty much it guys. If you end up trying this build yourself or if you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.